Right, you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at resetting passwords. Now, resetting Windows passwords, software passwords like Word, uh, Outlook, all these types of passwords can be reset with a piece of software called Isomsoft, and we're going to take a look at it uh, in this video. So, this is the software here, and uh, you can see it's pretty uh, affordable $39.95. And uh, you've got a free trial here which you can try out. This is the password refixer bundle uh, ultimate. And uh, we're going to take a look at it and see how it goes. So first off, what we're going to do here is open it up. And uh, once it's open, this is what you're going to see. You can see we've got uh, the back, forward, home, help and about button up the top. And... Uh, this is the paid version as you can see here and uh, recover passwords for files and archives and that's pretty self-explanatory as you can see here word password recovery excel password recovery powerpoint outlook ra zip and pdf very useful if you've got um, documents that have been passworded and you want to recover them we will be covering these in another video uh, so we're going to go back and we can take a look at recover passwords for databases as you can see here access password recovery this is another area where this tool can actually recover and we will put it to the test and take a look at it on how it recovers and as you can see here remove windows administrator and user account passwords it also deals with windows now this is obviously just for the uh offline uh, type Windows account it's not going to be for the signed in uh, version of Microsoft where you've signed in and put a password on there it won't re reset that it would only recover the password for your local accounts okay so all you have to do here is go into here and choose what option you want ie USB device or CD DVD if you've got a burner you can burn this to a disk or you can use the USB device uh, method here now I've already got one of these plugged in here so I'm going to quickly show you. I've got it plugged in here and I'm just going to quickly uh, create a USB device. You can see it's detected uh, my USB flash drive here and uh, you can see here it's saying begin burning so all I need to do is uh, click on begin burning. Do you want to format the USB flash drive? That means all the data will be wiped on that drive. You can say yes and it will start to format that drive and get it ready and it will then copy the files over that it needs to uh, allow you to reset uh, the Windows password click OK here and you can see here burn ISO image uh, file to USB flash drive has been successful so we can close this off and take a look here on our USB flash drive there it is there and there is the files so let's go ahead and boot this up and uh, reset Windows password and uh, if you want to see some other types of uh, videos with this piece of software like resetting other passwords like raw files and stuff like that then let me know in the comments section below so as you can see we've started to boot up here to our system and you can see we do have a password on here which we can't access and I'm going to quickly show you how you can reset this so let's reboot the system and boot up to our USB flash drive we will need to change the boot order to boot to either CD or USB flash drive and you can do that in the uh, BIOS it's pretty straightforward and easy to do now these are the most common keys to get into your BIOS F1 F2 escape delete and F12 this will get you into your BIOS uh, click on settings and then boot this is a UEFI BIOS. You may have an older type style BIOS, but it doesn't really matter. You just need to make sure you change the boot order. So you can see here, boot mode selected, legacy and uh, UEFI. I like to keep it on there. Sometimes by default, it's on UEFI. I'm just going to put that on legacy. Boot option one needs to be your USB hard disk drive, which is my sand disk drive, or you can select your uh, DVD or CD uh, ROM drive which is above it there. Once you're there click on settings and advanced go into the advanced settings and then USB configuration on my motherboard this is an option which I can change and I like to change it which says legacy USB support enabled I like to have that enabled and then we can click yes to save this 
and then we can save and exit and uh, exit out of here and boot to that USB device. So once we start to boot up, as you can see here, we then get presented with this screen here. And uh, you can see we are now pointing towards our Windows uh, directory here. And this is the actual software we've booted up to. So what we need to do is choose the account that we want to uh, reset here. And uh, we can see here, just highlight the account. And we want to reset the uh, password for this account. So I'm going to hit reset. And it will say, do you want to reset Brightech password to blank? I'm going to say yes. And it's now set to blank. And we can now reboot and remove the USB key or the CD from the drive. So once Windows starts up, we should go straight into Windows without putting our password in. And there we go. Sign in. And there we go. It's now been removed. And we're back at the desktop with the uh, password uh, removed and that's pretty much it that's how quickly you can reset your Windows password or any other version of Windows uh, with the iSum soft password refixer bundle ultimate anyway I'll leave the link in the video description let me know what you think and if you want to see any other uh, videos with the password reset let me know in the comments section below thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.